Nityanandam, everybody. Hi, this is Sudish. I'm from Abu Dhabi. I was born and brought up in Mumbai. I was a software engineer for quite some time, but for the past 11 years, I've been into the construction industry. And uh, I would like to share with you my journey uh, to this Kailasha here uh, at the lotus foot of Swamiji. And what a wonderful journey it is. So I'll just start off with my journey of how I got into this program. Uh, I used to follow uh, Raju Malhotra's works and read his books and watch his lectures about uh, our identity, about Hinduism, about the breaking forces and a lot of concerns had raised. And uh, in July there was a, an interview, Ask the Author, which he had uploaded uh, onto his YouTube channel. and. I had to uh, watch it the same day and really I, I've been looking for uh, someone who stands for, stands for our uh, identity, our, our, our Sanatna Hindu Dharma in a serious way and I always used to wonder why there is no genuine uh, authority over this and there was a lot of information I never knew because it's not really taught in India. Uh, uh, on a normal basis, many people really have a big identity crisis going on. So I've been connected to uh, Lord Shiva since childhood, chanting his mantras, everything self cost I mean, I used to pick up and feel uh, the feeling connection with Lord Shiva was too close to me. Probably that's the reason why I ended up here and I mean, Kala Bhairava chooses me to come here for this program. Uh, so I saw the video of uh, Rajivji asking all the questions from Swamiji and it just clicked with me that Swamiji is standing for all those re all those causes that uh, has been uh, running in my mind uh, which are serious but uh, a long term and a very serious one by a certain authority to do it. So it is, it is, it is something unimaginable how I uh, landed here. Uh, last year I got laid off from my job and uh, I've been with out of work in powerlessness mode for uh, around a year now and uh, in July when I found about Swamiji I couldn't keep myself I immediately went and put in my intention to attend for uh, Sadashivoham and uh, eventually I could figure out a way I took two Akashic readings uh, uh, over Zoom and I could uh, you know uh, cost myself uh, using using one of the credit cards that I have and I could put them into installments and uh, to cut short I landed a couple of days earlier here and I could uh, figure out fig figure out how how the things are get get used with this and it's really wonderful how how things go around here and how Swamiji is micro managing everything now the program has been really wonderful, transforming and uh, you know it's transformed me. I'm not the same person that landed here and uh, basically I've been enjoying it so long, I mean, so well that uh, I've been taking everything lightly. All the intense things that uh, is going on I've been taking it so lightly that I kept waiting for something really uh, transformational to happen and then I kind of started a pattern over this. The uh, day before yesterday we had Navagraha Homa and after that while I was returning uh, walking towards the uh, the hall I saw uh, Manyanatma also walking alone and she kind of asked me how things are going and everything and I just blurted out that I'm you know enjoying the moment enjoying the experience and looking for something intense to come. Immediately Manyanatma said that you know, you need to drop this idea of intensity. There is no session of Swamiji that is casual. Everything is really intense. So you just drop this idea about it and you involve yourself in it. And that's really, you know, it just hit me to my core. And the very moment I realized that from my uh, landing here in Biridi to today, every step has been so transformational. Every session, every the Kundalini awakening, the yoga, uh, the Q and A with Swamiji, hanging out with Swamiji, the day zero was really awesome, and it has been wonderful. And for a person like me who has been without job for a year, uh, you know, cashing out all his 
retirement funds and everything in zero you know i tell you that this is really i mean you you should be ready to give up anything to reach here and attend this program uh, from Swamiji and the Future IS programs. They are really transformational and it get back to, uh, it changes you in such a way that you can start, uh, you know, recovering everything that you think that you, you, you know, you had to let go, be it your job, be it uh, uh, convincing the family, be it arranging the funds for you to come here or to pay for the program. Really, I mean, if you come here and you transform yourself, you would understand that those things that you lost, you think you lost, is really nothing. And what you will gain after you finish this uh, course and you return back as a new being, will be much, much many folds higher than what uh, what what you came came with you know and that's that's the key now here Swamiji is spending a lot of time with us and every time he he comes for a program really the energy for for starters the entire uh, the entire region is really energized and you can feel that to your very core and I could say, I mean, I could keep going on saying about all the things that's happening, but really, the point is for you to reach here, experience it, enjoy the entire event, and it's really a transformational uh, program for you to get, and the Sadashivoha process is so well uh, implemented by Swamiji is to bring the Sadashivatva in, in you and to for you to realize that you are Sadashiva and that will keep reverberating inside you into your core and that will really change change your life uh, in more ways than you can ever imagine so I would say that drop everything and look for the nearest program register yourself cost yourself and let it be the Nityanandam